what the government said and did in terms of this case was to use principally Microsoft's contemporaneous documents and evidence. This is their story told by us based on the facts as they occurred. Those facts show a monopolist engaged in predatory and anti-competitive behavior that was not simply its intent, ladies and gentlemen, that was its effect. They set out to accomplish what they wanted to do, which was to make sure that no one came near eroding their monopoly position on the Windows desktop operating system. Wonderful job of bringing those facts to light as we see it. I'd now like to turn it over to my good friend and colleague, the Attorney General of uh, the state of Iowa. The antitrust law assumes, presumes, that a monopolist will deny consumers will make consumers less, will injure them by providing less products, not as good of products, and at a higher price. This case demonstrates that extremely well. This is not the time for more hot air and hollow rhetoric. This case has been tried over a number of months. The record is what it is. The record shows that the government has failed to bring forward evidence to prove any allegations. The record shows that Microsoft's conduct has been pro-competitive and pro-consumer. Three-year record which shows that there have been no violations. What the record of this case shows is that the only witness who addressed the subject of consumer harm for the government was their economist, Franklin Fisher. And when he was asked point blank under oath in federal court, he said, I have not observed any harm to consumers. What you saw on the screen this afternoon during the opening argument and the rebuttal was pure rhetoric. There is nothing by way of admissible evidence to support any of those many lines of the government's wishful rhetoric. 